एस पी आई एल सी डीज आर सो पॉपुलर बट द ओनली डाउन साइड इज इट हैव टू मैनी पिन सो विच मेक्स इट हार्डर टू इंटरफेस दैट्स वाई मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स इट डिडेंट वर्क एज एक्सपेक्टेड एंड इट टुक टू मच टाइम टू फाइंड द एग्जैक्ट प्रॉब्लम इन कनेक्शन एंड आफ्टर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स ऑफ इंस्पेक्शन ऑफ सर्किट्स आई एम फाइनली एबल टू रन इट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल गेट रेड ऑफ दिस मेसी कनेक्शन and we will convert this spi lcd to the i2c lcd so let's do this i bought this module for 1 and 1/2 dollars it converts spi lcd to the i2c lcd get this module and get one lcd display and the connection is really simple all you need to do is to plug this module on the back of the display as you can see i am doing in the video now connect the wire to the 5 volt pin of the audio connect that wire to the vcc pin of the module now connect the pin to the ground pin of the arduino connect the ground pin of the arduino to the ground pin of the module now connect the wire to the scl or a5 pin of the arduino connect that pin to the scl pin of the module now connect a wire to the sda or a4 pin of the arduino connect that pin to the sda pin on the module after connections everything will look like this so guys it's the time for the programming so let's connect the cable first of all you need to download the library for the i2c lcd from the description and extract it now copy this extracted folder and open the arduino folder there you will find libraries folder open the libraries folder and paste this extracted file there and the libraries are set now open the i2c scanner example to get the i2c address of lcd upload this i2c scanner code to the arduino open the serial monitor you will find the i2c address of the lcd mine is 0x27 open the arduino then open the examples then open the arduino liquid crystal i2c library then open hello world example in the library the i2c address in the hello world code is by default 0x27 so you have to put the i2c address obtained by i2c scanner mine is 0x27 so i am not going to change it After making sure that the entered I2C address is correct, then upload the code to the Arduino. After uploading code to the Arduino, if everything is correct, then the hello world will be printed on the screen as shown in video. So finally, we have reduced the number of pins of LCD display. So I'm going to test it on the cheaper and smaller 8090 board. So connections are really simple. I have connected the VCC to VCC and ground to the ground and the SD of the microcontroller to the SD of the display and the SCL of the microcontroller to the SCL of the display. I have already uploaded the code in it. So let's connect the power supply and test it. So finally we printed hello world on the LCD screen by the AT tiny board. And now we can use this LCD screen on any microcontroller and we will never run out of pins so yeah this is awesome now you can use lcd freely wherever you want no complex connections no running out of pins so that's all for the today thanks for watching stay tuned for more till then like share and learn and be drops out